in response to uh, a number of requests, <laughs> this, uh, this poem was written by one Benjamin Woods of Bury and published in about 1910 and it is Bobby Grundy, a village shopkeeper. In a pleasant village, Bobby lives and he keeps a general shop. In Thais, Weary were born and raised, and Weary means to stop. He sells all sorts of useful things, and he has a roaring trade. And if all goes well, for a couple of years, his fortune will be made. All villagers, they know Bobby well. He does all that wants supply with mint and clothes and ornaments and out else they want to buy. You cannot mention many things as he doesn't have in stock. He can sell you either clothes or shoes or a shirt or a baby's frock. He's got blankets, sheets and pillow slips and bed stocks, quilts and ticks. He's got some stuff for killing rats and mice and combs for catching nits. He's got soap and candles, starch and blue. There's blacking and black lead and pins and needles, roasting tins and worsted, either white or red. He's got herpins, buttons and castor oil, pills, tapes and sugar toffee, pepper, mustard, pitling spice, black puddings, tea and coffee, he's got pencils, ink and envelopes, best you can buy for money, and writing paper, pens and stamps, and sealing wax and honey. He's got laces, braces, and dolly tubs, and loaf tins, and digging cans, his props, and pegs, and clotheslines, and all sorts of different pots and pans. There's loaves, and cakes, and lard, and cheese, and boiled, or roasted ham, and bloaters, pop and treadle beer black currant or else gooseberry jam. It can serve you with a tape up too. Then that's a finest Britannia metal. Top bars, fenders, fire irons, a sewing machine, or a kettle. He's got pies and tarts and gingerbread and all sorts of coloured sweets. There's even some that's got verses on, <laughs> but they're specially for courting needs. He's got <laughs> snuff and tobacco, cigars and pipes. There's bodkins, Thimbles, eyes and hooks, mops and brushes, three-legged stews, eh? A little children's eightney books. There's boxes of pictures, American clocks and Australia beef, in tins of mutton, salmon, potted shrimps, porridge slices and rolling pins. He's got knives and forks, wooden spoons, bags and baskets, linen thread, rice and sago, meal and flour, Irish bacon and soon home fed. He's got brick dust, pipe clay and rubbing stones and sand to throw on flowers and do a mat so I throw carpet in and oil for the lamps and for the air. He's got salt and soda, peas and beans, figs and dates and feather dusters, apples, <coughs> pears, hothouse grapes as he's hanging down in great big clusters. He's got shirts and collars, ties and studs, potatoes, aye, and pittletonians and Lancashire tails in threepenny books and some of them are quite funnions. He's got all sorts of bread and flower seeds and bucket spades and garden rakes, gloves, parasols, umbrellas, sticking plasters and oat cakes. He has bats and balls, dancing dolls, pot lions and dogs muzzles, feeding bottles, scented soap, penny whistles and Chinese puzzles. He's got drums and trumpets, gum and glue, tops and acrobatic monkeys, perambulators, walking sticks, marbles and performing donkeys. He's got some nice breast pins for smart lads, and there's earrings for bonny lassies, purses, brooches, wedding rings, coal scuttles and looking glasses. He keeps a stock of useful herbs. There's isop, balm and thyme, and many others I could name, but I just can't seem to make them rhyme. <laughs> In fact, I think I've lined it up, and so now I'll make a stop, although I haven't mentioned everything there is in Bobby Grundy's shop. <laughs>